Hello viewers and listeners. A very warm welcome from us at Happy Tutorial Point. Happy Tutorial Point is today more than 15 years old with countless hours of tutoring and mentoring of students across all age groups and classes. The distinguishing quality, if you may ask, is an emphasis on simplicity and quality in teaching. This module is an introductory one, introducing ourselves, introduction to the topic and a few others. A series of video modules in biology for classes 9 onwards is planned. Biology is a vast ocean of knowledge and it is necessary to circumnavigate this ocean with well-planned halts at all or some of the major ports. These major ports in our context will be biology as taught in different classes. For the sake of clarity and as a standard, we will stick to a curriculum and text in India. Across India, there are various state syllabi and boards. However, the good news is that whatever be the state, the board or country for that matter, biology is the same everywhere. For that matter, we can also say that knowledge is the same. Knowledge is the same and knowledge is free. We would like to thank YouTube for this great platform which gives a playing field. Don't forget to press the red bell for subscriptions. Imagine you get a notification at your digital doorstep every now and then when a new module is added. Today we start with the cell. The cell is a good starting point. It is the unit of life, the fundamental unit of life. Just as we would study matter with the atom as a beginning point, we start biology with the cell as a starting point. What is a cell? As stated earlier, a cell is a fundamental unit of life. Let's look out at a cut diagram of a cell in a rotatory mode. This is a three-dimensional model and as you can look at the cell, you will find various different cell organelles. In 1665, Robert Hooke, an English scientist, examined a thin slice of dry cork under a self-designed crude microscope and saw layers upon layers of boxes or cells like rooms. Thus the word cell or compartment was born. Later, in 1676, Anton von Leeuwenhoek, a Dutch draper who had a hobby of making lenses, observed many living unicellular organisms. He called them animacules. They were animated and living. In 1839, Schleiden and Schwann proposed a cell theory stating that cells are actually the basis of all life. Over the century and years, cell biology made rapid progress and today it encompasses dozens of sub-areas of interest. Technology has aided in this progress from the early simple handheld lenses and microscopes of Hook and Leeuwenhoek variety of sophisticated techniques continue to reveal new dimensions to the cell. Enough said about such introductions in history. As we observed, a cell is the basic unit of life. A basic living cell consists of a space called cytoplasm. It is centered by what is called as a nucleus. That's the headquarters of the cell and it is bounded by a wall called the cell membrane. In size, cells can vary from extremely tiny to relatively larger ones like 10 nanometers. Did you know that a large single cell technically is an ostrich egg? Unfertilized birds' eggs are single cells. What about the numbers of cells? Cells typically number in the millions, the billions, or sometimes even trillions. 
There are billions of neurons in the nervous system. When nerve cells come together, they specialize in function and form tissues. More about that later. What about the shape of a cell? The basic shape of a cell is round or spherical. However, it can be altered by function or structure or situation, which is why a nerve cell can seem spider shaped with multiple projections, a muscle cell can seem elongated or spindle shaped, and a fat cell round and spherical. Thank you for watching. Please share, like, and subscribe.